just follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> channel this is the very first fall look hitting my channel and i thought i'd bring back the winged liner i haven't done that in a really long time i don't know why i guess i've been scared to like do it on camera because it's like sometimes a little bit of a this tutorial is going to be featuring a very special brand new palette from tarte it is the color vibes anna's amazonian clay eyeshadow palette and this was like not planned like the purple the purple and the purple, that was like, that just happened. I just love purple, it just happened. You take a look at this palette. I just received this the other day and I was like, I seriously need to do a look with this palette. And it screamed holiday, of course, because it's part of the holiday collection. That totally makes sense. I thought that I would put together a nice fall look for you guys. And I kind of did a little bit different than the other fall looks out there that I've been seeing. I didn't want to go with a dark lip for this. I wanted to keep it um, nude. First things first, if that button down below that says subscribe on it is red, then that means you have not subscribed. So please subscribe to my channel um, before we continue. Oh wait. Oh, thank you very much. So if you'd like to see how to get this um, fun, light, glittery, whatever fall look, then keep watching. Guys, I have a confession to make. First, gonna be doing a little color correcting with Urban Decay's Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. This gets rid of like dark circles and purples and all that good stuff. It's kind of like the equivalent of the orange that you see in other color correcting palettes. We'll make the fucked up now. Do all the work. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer in Light to go over the eye area. exhibit right here to set the concealer that we just put on the eyes. I'm gonna be using On The Monet right here for the first shade. Taking Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, I'm gonna take some of that, that same color, same shade on my brush and, oh, let's try and spray it on the brush, not on my, not on my phone and in my beard. Just to like really get the most out of this color and amp it up a little bit in the places that we want to. Taking the same shade that we set the entire eye area with, I'm going to start blending this out a little bit. My hands smell weird. I was like, that's so weird. You should wash those earlier and I totally forgot. Now take an even bigger fluffy brush. I'm just gonna really make sure that there are no harsh edges or weird spots that I always notice when I'm editing and just make sure that shit is blended the F out. Every time I'm editing and it's like uneven, I'm like, God damn it, Kristen, get it together. I'm gonna be taking this one right here. This is medium and gonna be placing this all the way from the inner corner out to meet the color that we just applied there. Fluffy brush, blending out. This is a good time too if you prefer like a harsh line, that like cat eye type thing, you can like carve it out with one of these babies. I don't know what foundation color I am right now. It always changes. For primer, I'm gonna use my NYX Hydra Touch Primer Base. We want something super like hydrating for like a glowy fall look. This brush smells like a cocktail. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation Fluid in the shade Juicy. Just shake it really well. I never do this. Let's see if it makes a difference. I'm just gonna take this brush and start pressing it into my skin. I feel like this like pimple is like so big I should like invite it to dinner or something. Taking the same color corrector that I used up top, I'm just going to correct below a little bit. I'm gonna switch over to my e.l.f. concealer in Fair. It's a little bit lighter than the one we used up here, and I'm gonna use that underneath the eye area. I thought it was lighter, but it's not. It's definitely not. Do we make this in clown white? Lately I've been struggling, this is like total side note, but lately I've been struggling with like cakey under eye and I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong here? I finally found something that works for me. Thank you, Amanda at Urban Decay, you're the best. 
So I'm gonna be taking my NYX finishing powder, HD finishing powder, and just like a fluffy brush, not a flat brush, not a super dense brush, not a fucking beauty blender, but just this, and I'm just going to like lightly set that under the eye area. And I found that it is not cakey, and it just sets it really nicely, just kind of like dusting the powder on there instead of like packing it on there. For brows, I'm gonna be taking my Lorac Pro Brow Pencil in Slate. Just brushing these through to make sure I didn't miss any little areas. Going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape, just gonna clean up underneath the brows and make sure they're nice and sharp. Going back for a palette, I'm gonna be using Pixie right here to highlight the brow bone. I like it a lot. Going back to on the Monet, just gonna continue that underneath the lash line here. Now going back in with medium, I'm going to finish that off through here. I think this look needs a little bit of glitter or moon dust. So over the all the areas that we added the gold there, we're going to be adding lithium right here. Just gonna like dust that over top with a damp brush. And because I haven't worn black eyeliner, in a while, or for a tutorial anyway, I'm gonna be using Urban Decay's 24-7 Waterline Pencil in Mood. I'm gonna go back in with a little brush and smudge this out just a little bit. So I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper to create the perfect wing shape. Then we're gonna fill it in with the Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner. Now filling this in with the Tarte Liner, and the reason why I'm doing this is because the Kat Von D one, I love that brush on there, but it is, it doesn't dry matte. It is like shiny eyeliner and I'm not a fan. I'm gonna be using Smashbox Indecent Exposure for the upper lash line and the lower lash line. I got these new lashes from Iris Beauty and they are like just so freaking fluffy and pretty. So I'm gonna use these guys. I'll pop these on and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, these lashes are in uh, Fearless. That's, that's, that's the name of those guys. Gonna be doing a little bit of quick contouring with, um, this is the Balm Cosmetics Bahama Mama Bronzer. And it is a really nice color for light skin tones. Gosh damn it. Gonna apply a little bit of this on my forehead. Taking the banana shade right here from the Pop Beauty Setting 101 palette, I'm just going to be setting this powder right beneath where we just shaded and just to like brighten this area up. See, you see a difference between the two there? For blush, we're gonna be using the Balm Cosmetics Balm Beach Long Wearing Blush in Warm It Up. This is just like a nice, kind of like neutral peachy um, pink shade here and I think it'll go really well with the colors we've got going on. Pretty much go with anything. To highlight, I'm using the Tarte Exposed Highlight. This is the Amazonian Clay Highlighter. For lips, first I'm gonna be taking the Ulta Automatic Lip Liner in Bare to line my lips. And by line my lips, I mean overdraw the fuck out of them. Then I'm gonna be taking the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Kimchi Doll and laying that as a base, and then going over top of that with Gerard Cosmetics lip cream and angel cake. Last but not least, I need to set this look so I can go out and I can have my Corona and it'll stay on all night. So I'm gonna be using the UD All Night Setting Spray once again and just giving that like a few too many sprays. Here is the finished look, guys. I just put on this super snazzy Arctic Fox hair color purple rain wig, and uh, we're ready to go. Let me know in the comments below what colors you are feeling for this fall and winter. I would love to create some tutorials around that. I feel like I need one with like a dark lip coming up soon, because that's like the fall thing, is like a dark lip. So that should be coming to you very soon, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys! I'm like blending in with the fucking background, I swear. Like, how can they see?